Okay, what we're looking at here is a 5 8 dome made from scrap aluminium rods. The longest strut is the C strut and they were, we've got three, three struts in this, it's a 3V dome. There are three struts, A, B and C. The C is 640 millimetres between centres. Uh, the B is around 626 and the A is 540. So what I did was basically put into the um, calculator, there's a place called Desert Domes, there's quite a few online but I went to Desert Domes, and in there they've got a calculator that allows you to calculate backwards. So what I did was I put in the longest section, was actually, which was actually the C section there, and they were 650 millimetres long, and so that gave me a readout of basically how big a dome I could expect to get. So basically we've got the longest strut is the 650 mil but you know I've come into 640 so there's a bit of meat there so I can drill a hole and then basically what I've done is flatten the ends with a hammer after a while you get it down you just hit that with a bl with one blow and it's smashed um, I did that over here what I've set up is basically a very simple jig what I've got is um, this heavy cast iron piece of, uh, here we go, got a cast iron piece of, uh, I don't know what you call it, but anyway, it's, it's solid. And then simply by putting the rod on there and placing this, which is an old exercise bike, but luckily this, this bar is the same level as that. So all I've done is really just struck a blow on the end of that. And after a while, I'll sort of get it down, see if I can set it up so you can see what happens. But basically to process one of those and get it ready for drilling, I just went bang, one hit, then tip it over. So now this flat end is sitting on the, the bike, so that means this end here must be flat also once I strike it. So it's very quick, very simple jig. So now what we've got is two flat ends, and I did uh, 80 of those. That's the long one. And then I set up in the drill press a very simple um, jig. You can see there, labelled C, B and A. And all I have to do to, to, uh, to get them ready is drill one hole there, sort of close to the end, and simply place the hole drilled onto this pin. It's a screw. So basically I just put it on there like that, and it must be the correct length for the C and then simply move the board through to the B and the A to get them. So, you know, I do a run of uh, 80 Cs, I think it was uh, 60 Bs, and um, well, let's have a look at the recipe. It's here somewhere. Where's the recipe gone? Here we go. So, here's the printout. Here's the printout from Desert Domes. Uh, so for a 3V dome, it's always going to be the same. The A strut, which is the shortest one, is 30, 30 struts. The B strut, 55, and the C strut, 80. So basically I, I drilled them. Then once they were drilled, I put them over here to the, to the vise and put a kink of about 5 degrees into the bar. And that's simple, I just put a bar on the bench and lined it up by peripheral vision. So it just needs a couple of degrees bent into every rod like that, see? That's a bit over. But it doesn't matter when you tech it all up. Uh, that's the other thing. What I used was these tech screws and a cordless drill with a driver in it. Like that. Brilliant. Because you can just add struts as you go. It's a very simple system. So I started at around about 8 o'clock this morning from zero with, you know, the 160 struts that I needed. I cut them on a drop saw to the lengths, then bashed them and drilled them and put this all together. It's now 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 20 past 1, and I started about 8 o'clock this morning. So I've managed to build this 5 8 dome in a morning and a bit. So that's not bad. And that's all from scrap.
this is off cuts from a uh, company that makes fences so every day they throw out these 650 mil long pieces and they're all perfectly cut ready to go so if you if you calculate your dome to be the the length of your off cuts that's one strut you don't have to cut and obviously it's your longest one too so you want all of them so basically this uh, this dome here grand total uh, sweat equity and probably three or four dollars worth of tech screws the rest is rubbish so well, I'm pretty stoked about that very simple cheers